Hey YouTubers, it's Mason from the Den Barrel here. Well, it's been a while. Um Uh Yeah, I just I haven't been picking up anything. Um the last thing I picked up was the Ego Ferguson auto along with the Austin Safarian Jenkins auto. Um which I'm gonna keep the Austin Safarian Jenkins for now. Uh, I think I said that in my last video, I can't really remember. Um, but I am coming at you with a video of some memorabilia I recently picked up. Um, uh, I got these two photos. Um, my dad, he's a personal trainer, and so he's got a bunch of clients, um, uh, and some of them actually become his close friends, and they're really nice to me and my brothers and to him. So one of them is moving, uh, I forget where. I want to say Ottawa or something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, she had some sports memorabilia. Uh, really just photos and magazines and all that. But anyways, so, she said to my dad, okay, you can take some things if you want. I'll let you know if you can't take it, um, or if you can, um, so, he took these and he picked them up for me. Mike Ditka autographed photo. This one. Uh, it's a nice photo. Um, I like the next one better. Still autographed by Mike Ditka. The coach. The coach. And it's not PSA DNA, but I have a auto football card, and it's the exact same auto on both pictures as the card, so it's, uh, it's authentic, I know, for sure. The only difference is in these, he put, uh, 88, uh, Hall of Fame 88, he inscribed them, so, and then this one, I love, 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 love this one. This one, I like better than the other one, because the other one, he's not in a bear shirt. This one. Yep. Mike Ditka in a bear shirt. In a bear sweatshirt, to be exact. I mean, that looks like the sweatshirt he wore in uh, one of the, most of the 1985 games. So... I love that, love those photos. Um, he also picked up with, for me this magazine. Uh, Chicago's Greatest Sports Memories. So that's pretty nice. But, uh, but that's it for me right for now. Uh, from Mason and the Dunbar Lair.